Hey guys, it's Saturdays with Eric, and this week's topic is our coming out stories. Now, mine, I, I did it pretty quickly. I just kind of wanted to get everybody out of the way and just get it all done at once. So first, I came out at school. You know, I wanted to make sure that people generally responded, you know, in an okay manner before I went and talked to my parents about it. So, in English, we had an assignment where we had to memorize a poem. So I went and I wrote this big long poem, you know, talking about dysphoria and all that, and then I recited it, came out to everybody, and the response was phenomenal. I, most people switched their names and pronouns that day. So I decided, alright, well, if they responded well, then maybe it's time to tell my parents. I had a hard time even getting up the courage to do that. So I went and I basically mentally scheduled this day. I was like, I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna tell him that day. And when the day came, I almost passed out like three times at school because I was just so scared of how they were gonna respond. Because you know, at school, you could, you're not gonna be there forever. It was my, the end of my junior year. Well, with your family, I knew whatever their decision was, it was gonna stick with me for the rest of my life. So I went and I told my mom, in quick background, ever since I was probably around seven, my entire family has expected me to come out as gay. So of course when I went up to her and I said, I need to tell you something, her first, the first thing she told me was, are you gay? I was like, yes, but there is more to it. So I told her and you know, she was like, it's okay, I still love you and support you. And I don't think she realized at the time what all of that meant. Because when I started asking them to switch my pronouns and name, they weren't really all up to that. And they told me a couple times, well, we'll never see you as our son. You're always going to be our daughter. All that. But a couple months later, around the time of my birthday, I guess my little sister freaked out on my dad. Told him, well, what if this was you? What if you were in his shoes? How would you feel if your family was doing this to you? And he sat on that for a while, and he started changing pronouns and name pretty quickly, and he talked to my mom, got her to change. My mom talked to my grandmother, got her to change, and all of this basically happened overnight on the weekend of my birthday, which was just a phenomenal present. Before all that, I had come out to the rest of my family, I just, I knew they were all on Facebook, so I posted the same poem that I read to my English class on Facebook, and I was like, if you're gonna disown me, do it now, because this isn't going to change. Nobody did. There are still a few of them who are very rude about it, but the majority of them have learned to at least write my name as I want it on letters and cards and whatever. I think my coming out wasn't that bad. You know, it took a long time, though. It took a couple months for everybody to kind of get used to it and for it to just be normal and for everybody to accept it. But I'm at a point now where everything is okay, and people are finally starting to understand what this means and that it's not going to go away. And I am actually set to start hormones on Tuesday, which is pretty big considering the fact that I had to have a parental consent and whatever to do that because I am still in high school. But. Everything's working out now. If you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe. It really helps get the channel out there. So I will be here next Saturday to talk about our next topic.